Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, you guys know the deal, man. You know what we're here to do, man, right? It's all about the truth on this channel. It's all about the facts on this channel. And you guys respect that. That's why you guys are shouting me out and saying that I'm spitting facts, right? Real recognize real. You guys understand the game. You guys get it, right? You guys can see through the lies, right? Through the narratives, all that stuff. That's what we're here on this channel to do, guys. Stop the lies. Stop the narratives, right? All this nonsense that these guys talk about Michael Jordan, his era, right? All this stuff. It's all narratives. It's all lies, right? And it's their opinions based off of those very lies and those very narratives, guys. You must see through this, all right? Right? I can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Right? I can't make you guys drink the knowledge. You have to understand and, and know and trust in me and believe that I'm telling you guys the truth. Right, It's about the integrity here. And I want to thank you guys for all your love, man. All your love, guys. It's much respect to everybody out there, everybody across the world, France, Belgium, Poland, Australia, New Zealand, Monte Carlo, right? Italy, Canada, the Philippines. Much respect to everybody out there, everybody across the states. Much respect to all of y'all, man. I really appreciate it, guys. It means a lot to me, man. I'm a small channel, so it means a lot that you guys respect what I'm saying, right? Because it's about the education here. It's about the facts, guys. And we must continue to spread the word. So thank you, guys. And in this video, we're going to speak about this more nonsense with LeBron James and Michael Jordan. And we're going to focus on the defensive end here, right? Just the defensive abilities of LeBron James, which are lacking, right? We're going to talk about it in this video. And you guys know what to do, man. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, guys, on this channel, if you guys have been following my channel or if you guys are newly following my channel, whatever the case may be, if you guys know my stance on this channel, right, it's never been about my opinions. It's never been about trying to convince you guys that Michael Jordan's the greatest player of all time, right? It's never been about that. My stance is clear. It's about the facts. It's about stopping the lies and the false narratives that are surrounding Michael Jordan, his era. We're not going to stand for this any longer. I grew up watching these guys, man. So I'll be damned if I'm going to listen to Colin Cowherd or Nick Wright or Shannon Sharp or J.J. Reddick or any of these clowns on ESPN or Fox Sports. I'll be damned if I'm allowed these guys to continue to bash the era, the guys that I grew up watching with lies. I won't do it. If they were speaking honest and objectively, right, and telling the facts, we would have no problem with this stuff. But the problem is, is that they can never speak about Michael Jordan and his era without tearing them down, right? They, they can't do it. They cannot. And when I speak about LeBron James on this channel, guys, I'm trying to hit you guys with the facts, right, as it relates to Michael Jordan, right? And one of the things I'm always telling you guys about, right, is what about LeBron James? Is his effort, right? We're always talking about LeBron James' lack of effort on the defensive end. You know, guys, I've listened to debates between Michael Jordan and LeBron James. I've listened to guys like Chris Boussard debate people, right? And I don't know how many times I've heard people like be like, oh, yeah, LeBron James and Michael Jordan, the defensive end, it's a wash. They're equal. I've actually heard people say this, guys, in debates. I've heard Chris Boussard concede that Michael Jordan and LeBron James is a wash on the defensive end. If someone says it's a wash, that means that they're equal. Now, listen, we all know whether you like Michael Jordan or not, I think we can all agree, and I think we can all clearly see in the video footage that Michael Jordan was a greater defensive player than LeBron James. We're just focusing on defense here, guys. That's all I'm talking about right now is defense, right? The videotape clearly highlights that Michael Jordan's a greater defensive player, right? All the numbers point to that, the accolades, everything points to Michael Jordan. However, the one thing that I'm always telling you guys on my channel, right, I'm always pointing out to you guys is the effort. The effort or the lack of effort by LeBron James on a consistent basis, guys. What am I always telling you guys on this channel when it comes to defense, guys, right? If you guys played basketball growing up, if you play basketball now to this day, right, you know the game of basketball, then you understand what I'm saying when I tell you guys that half of defense is what? It's your want to, right? 
You have to want to play defense. You have to give an effort on the defensive end. That's the only way you can play defense, guys. That's the only way you can be a solid defensive player. That's the only way is by giving effort. Now, if you want to be an all-time great defensive player or an elite defensive player, then you must have some instincts. You must have some skills. But the base is the effort. You cannot be an all-time great defensive player, an elite defensive player, without the effort, right? But you can be a solid defensive player without the actual skills, right? Without the athleticism, right? Without the instincts. You can still be a solid defensive player if you give the effort. Because that's half of defense, is your want to, to play that defense. And these days, right, many guys, many guys do not have the want to. They don't give the effort consistently. And that's what I'm always pointing out about LeBron James is his lack of consistent effort on the defensive end. Now, people be like, oh, what are you talking about? LeBron James gives effort, blah, blah, blah. The key word, guys, consistency, the consistent effort, right? Anybody could do things some of the times, right, every once in a while. But to be considered great or elite, right, at defense, you must give the effort all the time consistently. LeBron James doesn't do it consistently, guys. And we have the video footage. The man standing around with his hands on his hips, right, biting his nails, blowing. I mean, I'm telling you guys the same things. We see this in the video footage. That's not effort. How many times have we seen LeBron James make a defensive mistake, right? He didn't make a rotation, whatever the case may be, right? He makes a mistake. What does LeBron James proceed to do? He stands there and points a finger at somebody. Or he gives them that look like, yo, man, what's going on? You're supposed to go get that guy. He always does that. That's his MO on the defensive end, especially over the last, what, seven, eight years now. You guys tell me when the last time LeBron James made an all-defensive team, when that was, right? I believe it was 2014, guys, 10 seasons ago. Now, what we must think about when it comes to defense, I'm telling you guys that LeBron James does not give the effort consistently, right? And what does that lead to? Well, it leads to a lack of accolades by LeBron James, right? LeBron James has been in the league 20 seasons, right? This is going into his 21st season, right? Hip hop hooray, right? Give this man some kudos. Give him a doggy biscuit. He's played 21 seasons now. However, when we think about how many all defensive teams LeBron James has made in his career, he's made what, guys? Six all defensive teams, I believe, in 20 seasons? That's not consistency. That is not consistency, guys. Let's compare him to Michael Jordan, where they say it's a wash on the defensive end. <laughs> Michael Jordan played 11 full seasons for the Chicago Bulls, where he would be qualified to make an all-defensive team. Right? 11 full seasons. He made nine all-defensive first teams, guys. That's called consistency. Nine out of 11 years. That is the consistent effort of Michael Jordan on defense. The effort was always there. We never questioned Michael Jordan's effort. Never did. Not even when he was 39, 40 years old on the Wizards. You still see it on the video footage. It shows up. Michael Jordan's effort. Effort shows up on the film, guys. Doesn't show up in the box score. And that's part of the reason why LeBron James is not a solid defensive player, a great defensive player, right? He's not considered an all-time great defensive player. And why is that? Because his lack of consistent effort. LeBron James will always tell us, this is great athlete. Oh, he's this great athlete. He's the greatest all-around player of all time. All these things that they'll say in the media. But we don't see the video footage. There's no proof on the video footage. Right? There's no proof of him playing defense and giving the effort. If he's that great of an athlete, then how is this man not on more all-defensive teams? Just off his athleticism alone. Right? LeBron James should have been on at least 10 all-defensive teams. At least 10. 11, 12. But it's not giving the effort, right? So the athleticism means nothing if you're not giving the effort, right? LeBron James plays 60 games, 55 games, right? But doesn't give the effort consistently in those games. If LeBron James was doing load management, missing 20, 25 games a season, but when he was on the court, this man was a terror. He was everywhere, hustling, diving on the floor, doing all the little things that don't show up in the box score. This man would have more respect, Right? We would, we would respect that more. But what does he proceed to do? He proceeds to play 50-55 games and then only give effort in spots here and there. Right? When he feels like he needs to give effort. When it's easier for him to give some effort. That's what LeBron James does. He picks and chooses his spots all over the court. That's why he's not an all-time great defensive player. That's why he's not in that conversation with the Michael Jordan. Which is why we laugh at these conversations, these debates. And when I hear people say that LeBron James... And Michael Jordan on the defensive end, they're even? It's a wash? What game are we watching? 
LeBron James is nowhere close to Michael Jordan on the all the on the on the defensive end, guys. Not even close. And like I said, that's mostly goes to LeBron James' lack of effort, his lack of hustle. That's on this man should at least have 11 all defensive teams. In this weak defensive era, this man can't make an all defensive second team a couple of times all these years later. Why is that, y'all? Because the effort's not there. The consistency is not there. Even at LeBron James' heights, his peak of his defensive powers, right, in Miami, he still wasn't good. He still was not great. He was okay. He was solid for those four or five seasons, right? But after that, where has he been? He fell off a cliff. The effort's not there. We see this. I'm not making this up. This is not hate on LeBron James like his fans always say. I don't need to hate on this man. What he put on the videotape for us to watch is on him. Michael Jordan always gave the effort. It was there, which is why he has the nine defensive teams, right? Which is why he was able to capture a defensive play of the year award. Which is why he's considered an all-time great defensive player. Because he was consistent on the defensive end. It wasn't he was great for a couple of years in a spurt and then he fell off. He was always consistent, always hustling, always giving an effort. That's the greatness of Michael Jordan. That's the greatness of that era. It mattered to those guys to play defense, to give effort on the defensive end. Like I said, even if you weren't a great all-time great defensive player, right, you didn't have the ability like that, the defensive skills, you didn't have the athleticism, whatever it was, you still gave the effort, right? They still gave the effort. That was the one thing that we didn't question on a consistent basis from someone like a Michael Jordan that we can obviously see that LeBron James is not giving that same effort. So in these comparisons on the defensive end, when people say LeBron James is a great all-around player, it does not add up because the man does not give the effort on the defensive end. If LeBron James would have been giving the effort on the defensive end all these years, he would have made multiple all-defensive teams, all this stuff, guys. Right? He would have done this. He would have had better stats. The man's only averaged over two steals a game, I believe, once in his career. Right? In a full season, can't even average more than two steals a game. Even for his career, he averaged 1.5 steals a game. That's not great. That's not all time great numbers. The man's never blocked more than 100 shots in a season. Michael Jordan's done that multiple times. Never had more than 200 steals in a season. Michael Jordan did that multiple times. Why is that, guys? Because he's not giving the effort, the max effort for a full season. He's not. Which is why he hasn't accumulated the numbers. Still chasing Michael Jordan steals all these years later. Still chasing Michael Jordan steals. Isn't that crazy, guys? You think about something like that. If he was giving the effort, if he had the defensive skills, he would have been past some Michael Jordan steals. He should be the number one all-time in steals. He should by far. Right? He can't pass John Stockton. Michael Jordan, these guys, and steals all these years. Why? Because he's load managing, right? Missing games, not giving the max effort. And he's not a defensively skilled player like that. You ever see LeBron James' defensive stands? He's not a good rebounder, right? What does he do good defensively? That chase down block, right? That's his claim to fame. That's not solid defense, though, chasing someone down. Michael Jordan was a better shot blocker at his position for his size than LeBron James. Right? The numbers point to that. The film shows that Michael Jordan was a lockdown one-on-one -on -one defensive player. He could shut players down the perimeter. LeBron James has never really shown the ability to do that consistently. No. They'll say LeBron James could guard one through five. I did a video on this, guys. This nonsense. LeBron James could barely guard his position. Barely guard his position, guys. Think about all the times he's been schooled out there in the NBA Finals alone. Where was he in 2014 against Kawhi Leonard? Got schooled. Where was he against in 2015 against Andre Iguodala? Got schooled. Where was he down at in 2017 against Kevin Durant? He got schooled. He couldn't shut these guys down. He couldn't make them work for it. LeBron James was switching screens, letting J.R. Smith guard this guy, Jeff Green guard that guy, Richard Jefferson guard this guy. All this nonsense. This is what LeBron James always done, right? Ducking defensive assignments his entire career. Which is why he's not considered an all-time great defensive player, even though he has the athletic size, right, the athletic ability to be an all-time great defensive player. The one thing he's lacking is what, guys? The defensive instincts and the effort, the hustle doesn't have those. 
and it shows up in the videotape. Shows up in his numbers, the lack of accolades on the defensive end, all that stuff, guys. LeBron James is nowhere close to Michael Jordan on the defensive end. He's not an all-time great defensive player. He's not. Michael Jordan is a top 10 all-time defensive player. LeBron James is nowhere near that category, nowhere near top 10 all-time, guys. And that's his fault because of his lack of effort. You guys know the deal. Remember, this is not hate. The facts, the truth can never be hate. Right? We're putting these guys in perspective. And the fact remains that LeBron James should have been a better defensive player. He should have way more accolades. He should have way more steals, blocks, all that stuff, man. Should be way higher. But it's not because he's never given the consistent effort. Yeah, he was good for about five or six years. He was solid. Out of 20 years, though, that's not consistency, y'all. It's not. And that's what we always talk about with LeBron James. I'll catch you guys on the next one.